Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine. Like before again I bring the some latest update of the Iraqi dinar. So guys today we will discuss about the latest exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar. Iraqi dinar latest news, Iraqi dinar rate and the Iraqi dinar range statement. So guys without wasting time we start the video. If my video is helpful for you please like and subscribe my channel. I pray for you all God give you long life, good health and wealth and the best of luck. Hey everyone. Welcome back to Iraqi Dinar Today. I'm Ali, and today we have some incredibly intriguing updates about Iraq's financial landscape and the much anticipated currency revaluation. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Let's dive right in. Let's start with some community comments and the big question on everyone's mind. How can the budget be sent back to Parliament when the President has already signed it and sent it to the Gazette for publishing? Well, according to a representative from the framework, the 2024 budget will be returned to the House of Representatives because the amendments were never published in the Gazette. This is quite the twist. But stay tuned because the biggest news today comes from the banking sector. I've got some hot news from the banking and wealth management world. Redemption folks are required to work this weekend yes, it's mandatory. This isn't their usual call-in setup they've been instructed to be on site. This unusual move could mean something significant is on the horizon. Keep your eyes peeled. In other exciting news. Iraq's customs revenues have hit nearly 1 trillion dinars in the first half of 2024. This is massive, folks. Diversifying their income away from just oil sales is exactly what Iraq needs. Customs is proving to be a strong alternative revenue stream, which is great news for the economy. Now, let's address a question I get asked a lot. Should you keep some of your IQD and not exchange it at all? Well, that's a personal decision. My plan is to exchange about 10% initially to establish myself, then hold on to the remaining 90% and watch the float. If it reaches $2, I might cash out another 10%. If it ever hits the reinstatement rate of $3.22, I might be tempted to move a significant portion. The key is to be strategic and patient. Ali, let's talk about the banking system in Iraq. It's exceptional now better than it ever was before the rate was reduced in 2003. This level of banking security is unprecedented, and it's all over the news. The improvements in Iraq's banking infrastructure are setting the stage for a robust economic future. And here's another significant update, a tweet from the director of the Accessions Division of the WTO announced that Iraq's working party will formally resume on July 18th after 16 years, this is a historic meeting, and the Iraqi team is ready and excited, their dedication and hard work are finally paying off, once again. Nearly 1 trillion dinars in customs revenues for the first half of 2024 is a big deal. This shows Iraq's commitment to diversifying their income streams. It's exactly what we want to see a moving away from an over-reliance on oil sales and building sustainable alternative revenues. That's all for today's update, folks. The developments in Iraq are promising. And we're inching closer to seeing significant changes in the currency's value. Keep an eye on these updates, and remember to share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching Iraqi Dinar today. Stay informed, stay excited, and until next time, take care.